Okay, so good day everyone. This is another topic to be discussed on your art appreciation. So this lesson is entitled History of Art. So when we say about History of Arts, we are discussing here or tracing the origin of our art. So what are the different artworks that we have uh, found on our different uh, period on our history. So first, on the history of art, we do have your uh, Stone Age. So during the Stone Age, class so the characteristics of your arts are key paintings fertility goddesses megalithic structure so the major artists during that time or the major works during that time can be found on the last cause cave painting, the woman of Wellendorf and the Stone Age. So, alam naman natin class that during the Stone Age uh, on our ancient history na ang ating mga nadediscovered na art during that time ay nasa, uh, nasa cave. So, particularly, ang mga makikita natin doon ay mga ano, mga drawing of the horses, drawing of the lions, wild oxen, and even owls, and even panthers. So, there's, these are very rare and these are only found uh, during the Ice Age uh, period. So, kaya the historical events related during that uh, the arts of the Stone Age ay yung mga nangyari during the New Stone Age and even on the first permanent settlements of our early civilization. So, one of the famous structure during that time or architecture that is built during the Stone Age is yung ating uh, Stone Age. So, this is considered as our oldest form of architecture. So, it served as a huge calendar which marked the equinox of the position of the sun rays upon the structure. So, it could also foretell the occurrences of lunar and solar eclipses. So, this is very amazing uh, a structure or architecture during that time kasi it shows what? That our ancestor had already what? A mathematical precision proven showing that early man had already achieved a remarkable degree of scientific intelligence. So, mapapansin natin the earth during the Stone Age talaga is ano, makikita natin on caves. So, kasi ang mga ninuno natin during that time ay sa caves sila uh, naninirahan. So, next on that, we do have the Mesopotamian period. So, this is on the 3500 BC to 3, uh, 539 BC. So, the characteristic of the art or the theme I use uh, during uh, their uh, uh, the drawing of the arts during that time is yung mga warrior art and the narration in stone relief. So, kaya dito, mga nakilala na uh, na arts during that time is yung mga cuneiform, cuneiforms na ginawa ng ating mga Mesopotamian people, especially the Sumerians who invented our uh, first writing in history. Aside from that, makikita din dito alin, yung ating Hammurabi code of laws. Ano? So, these are sets of laws and regulations during uh, the time of the King Hammurabi of Babylon. So, aside from that, another related historical events on the arts during that time is yung that Abraham founds monotheism or yung paniniwala natin sa iisang Diyos. So, yun yung mga kalamitang uh, theme ng arts ng mga Mesopotamian people and usually ito ay makikita saan? Sa kanilang mga uh, arts na nakaukit sa mga clay tablets or sa mga bato. So, one of the famous architecture naman na meron ng mga Mesopotamian people during that time is the ziggurats. So, ziggurats are used uh, as their uh, places for worshipping their gods. So, this is the center of their civilization. So, isa yun sa pinaka-famous ano, na architecture na nagawa during the Mesopotamian Period. Next on that, we do have the Egyptian art. So, from the 3100 BCE to 30 BC. So, ancient Egyptian art is closely related to the people's belief in afterlight or uh, the, naniniwala kasi sila that there is life after death. So, usually, their arts are made on the pyramids and on tam painting. So, ang mga nakilala ditong uh, major works during that time is the Imhotep Step Pyramid, the Great Pyramids, and the Bas of Nefertiti. So, Peros are uh, prepared for their times when they were still alive. So, the earliest form of the tam was called the Mastaba, a chamber for 
the dead. So this later developed with the tradition of several levels into the step pyramid such as that of the Saqqara. So historical events related uh, or which influence Egyptian arts are the normal unites, the upper and the lower Egypt. Kasi during that time, magkahiwalay yung uh, pamumuno ng upper at ng lower Egypt. And aside from that, kilala din dito yung Ramesses the second battles, the Hittites, and that Cleopatra dies during this, uh, the Egyptian uh, time. So, kung mapapansin ninyo, most of the arts ng mga Egyptians ay uh, about, ano, sa life ng kanilang mga peoros. And aside from that, makikita nyo yung kung gano'ng kagrandure ang livings ng mga peoros during that time. Okay? So, next on the Egyptians' arts, we also have the Greek and the Hellenistic art during the 850 BC to 31 BC. So, ano naman ang characteristics ng kanilang artwork? So, idealism, balance, perfect proportions, and architectural orders. So, we owe part of our knowledge on ancient Greek art from a German archaeologist, Henrich Schillemann, who found Troy in Turkey in 1868. So, because of his fascination in Iliad and Odyssey that led to the search for Troy, we now got to see the world of the great, which was only previously described by the poet Homer, ano, on the Iliad and Odyssey. So, Makikita natin sa mga artworks ng mga uh, Greeks is yung idealism and balance. Ano? So, say for example, on their uh, major artworks such as the Parthenon, the Myron, the Pidias, Polykletos, and Proxy Teles. So, historical events during that time, Athens defeats, uh, defeats Persia at Marathon, the Peloponnesian Wars, and Alexander the Great Conquest. So, aside from that, ang mga Greeks ay associated din on the drama where tragedies and comedies were performed. Actually, one of their great uh, architecture during that time is the creation of amphitheaters wherein uh, their uh, performers or actors are performing there. Ano? So, isa pa sa famous on uh, Greek and Hellenistic uh, civilization artwork is yung tinatawag natin na architectural order. So, the Greeks are also known for the different orders found in the columns of their temple. So, these are the Doric, the Ionic, and the Corinthian order. So, this is found mostly in Parthenon and other Greek temples that showcase disorders of these columns. So, kapag Doric, the style is sturdy and dignified. Ano? The top is very plain. Kapag Ionic naman, the style is more delicate and ornate and it is topped by a pair of scrolls called volutes. While kapag Corinthia naman, the style is like the Ionic but it has what? An acanthus leaf capital instead of scroll. So, the style was later on uh, imitated by the Romans. So, next on the Greek and Hellenistic uh, civilization, we also have the Roman uh, civilization or the Roman period. So, the characteristics naman of their artwork is that uh, it shows realism, uh, practicality, and down-to-earth. So, chief artists and major artworks, so Augustus of Prema Porta, Coliseum, and the Trajan's Column Pan, Theon. So, the early settlers of, of Rome, said to be the Etruscan of the Central Italy, were brilliant architects, sculptors, painters, jewelers, and potters. So, in AD 79, Mount Vesuvius uh, erupted, causing the Roman towns to be buried. So, however, the lava... Uh, preserved the towns and the bodies wall, and then after that so the wall paintings were discovered so ano yung mga uh, contributions ng mga Romans on art so the Romans made significant contributions to architecture and also they also built similar uh, temples to the uh, which is similar to the Greek temples also so actually ang mga Romans kilala sila doon sa pagko-construct ng mga aqueducts or ng mga bridges that carry water. So, public baths, uh, market uh, places, and roads. And aside from that, ang mga Romans din ang nakadiscovered noong 120 besin ng concrete. So, they held meetings and other transactions uh, in basilicas and halls that are made on concrete. So, kilala din ang mga uh, Romans on Colosseum and of course the Pantheon. So actually Pantheon now is the burial site of the Renaissance painter or artist uh, known as Raphael. 
Okay? So, next on that, we do have the Indian, the Chinese, and the Japanese uh, artwork. So, the characteristic usually ng mga Japanese artwork at saka ng mga Chinese artwork class, kung inyo makikita, ito ay medyo serene. A meditative and nature. I know it's all about meditation and more about on their religious belief. So also they are known for arts of the floating world. I know. So given naman jan yung mga chief artists natin and their major artworks during that time. So what are the historical events that shape on the or influence the artworks of the Chinese and the Japanese? So we do have the birth of Buddha. Aside from that, Buddhism uh, spread during that time on China and in Japan. And aside from that, the Silk Road opened on the 1st century BC. Okay. So, iyon yung mga artworks. So, is, uh, if you are going to see uh, different artworks of the Chinese and the Japanese, sometimes the, the subject of their artworks are more of... Uh, in about nature ano medyo meditation talaga yung kanilang pinaka team of artworks next on that we do have the early christian in the byzantine art and of course of the islamic so the roman empire began to broke up in the fourth century ad so the christian religion was growing in strength and the roman emperor during that time is constantine who made christianity as the official religion ano on a roman empire so he moved the capital from rome to byzantium the old greek city and built a new city named constantinople which is now the Istal, uh, the istanbul ano on turkey so the two types of the churches that emerged during the byzantine art period is the basilican and the central plan type so the basilica was a roman building formerly used as a bank and a hall of justice but turned into churches. So, it is rectangular. The length is twice as it's a wed with sloping roof. So, inside there are two or three of rows of columns or three to five aisles. So, it has also a, a raised a half circle, ano called apse where the altar is place. Samantala, yung central plant type naman that was developed from Roman temples and times could be so circular octagonal or in form of cross with a roof that was dome. So, it was only used for small services and baptism because it couldn't hold large crowds. So, that is the two type of the churches na na-developed during the Byzantine period. So, aside from that, another major uh, uh, work during that time is the creation of the Hagia Sophia. So, this is considered as the finest Byzantine building. So, it is also located in Constantinople and it was built for the honor of Virgin Mary. So, kaya it means Holy Wisdom. So, this is designed by Antemius of Trales and Isodorus of Miletus who work began in AD 532 and supervised by Emperor Justinian. Kasi uh, part of the historical events that shape our uh, artworks during the Byzantine period is yung pag-restore ni Justinian, Emperor Justinian on the Western Human Empire. So, nandyan din yung birth of Islam and Muslim conquest. So, actually, Hagia Sophia during ng and the history nung sinakop ng mga Turko ang uh, rel, uh, mga Kristiyano ano so the the religion that they have is Islam so during that time so kilala din ang Byzantine Empire on the paintings and different mosaics so mosaics had no perspective or depth and they offered a uh, plot so human figures were very stiff not as uh, lifelike as those as the mosaic made by the early Greek and the Romans. So, doon una nagsimula yung paggawa uh, ng mga mosaics during the Byzantine period. Next on that, we do have uh, the Middle Ages period. So, if we are going to compare the Middle Ages period naman with other artworks, so dito naman, ang kanila naman mga ginawa is the Celtic art, Carolingian, Renaissance, Romanist, and Gothic. So, sino mga nakalila dito? Si St. Sernin, Durham Cathedral, uh, the Chartres, the Simabek, and Dusho, and Giotti. So, Uh, Holy Roman Empire during the Middle Ages was under Charlin Mange, ano in AD 800. So he wanted churches and palaces to look like the Roman buildings. So these buildings were called Romanist in style. So kapag sinaming Romanist buildings or style, this was built in uh, 
France, Germany, and Italy. So, it was brought to France and to England. So, in AD 1066 and was known in Britain as the Norman style. So, during the Middle Ages, we can say that uh, th that period is very dangerous and very lawless. So, the buildings during that time are very strong and are very easy to defend. So, churches and castles during that time are used as a shelter whenever there is an attack that is happening on the villages. So, kaya talaga, if you are going to... Uh, Describe the architecture during the Middle Ages, strong, thick ang walls, tapos few windows and little de uh, decoration ang makikita mo on their architecture. So aside from that, people during that time on the Middle Ages, hindi sila marurunong magbasa. Ano? So... Sculptures and paintings, which uh, which is a narration or who talks about the Bible stories, are very useful in teaching our children. So actually, uh, to further introduce Christianity during that time, so the monks or yung mga taong nakatira sa simbahan, ano, they made illustrating a manuscript which had been uh, decorated with gold or silver, so portraying what? Uh, different uh, stories on the Bible in order just to teach children during that time. So, na also din, dito sa Middle Ages period yung alin, yung paggamit ng Gothic style. So, ano, so, the Gothic buildings have what? Trajectory, a tracery which shows complicated patterns of stonework that supported huge windows. So, one example of this is the Greek Gothic Cathedral. Ano? So, Gothic churches have more decoration than the Romanist churches and there were curbings everywhere with figures of saints and scenes from the Bible. So, if you are going to describe the sculptures, they are very light, slender, graceful, so not similar to the stiff or lifeless figures of uh, Romanist style. So, yun yung uh, mga artworks during that Middle Ages and that was uh, shaped because of the Viking raids, the Battle of Hastings, the Black Death, and the Hundred Years of Wars. We also have the early or the high renaissance. Ano? So, this is uh, characterized as rebirth or of our classical culture. So, renaissance is from the word revert. Ano? French word. Uh, uh, sorry. Renaissance is a French word which means a revert. So, the renaissance period was a time of what? A great excitement and new discoveries in art, in act architecture, literature, exploration, and even on sciences. So, people during that time, felt that their world was truly being born. Ano? So many young artists in Europe look back with longing to the great days of ancient Greece and Rome. Kaya usually, the artworks during that time are rest, is a restoration piece ano? from the Greek and uh, from the uh, Roman culture. So during that time, nakilala yung ating apat na great masters ano? in painting, sculpture, uh, and artists natin na sina Donatello, si Leonardo da Vinci, Michelangelo Bonarete, and Raphael. So, Donatello was a sculptor who introduced the weight shifting principle in his statues. So, the people in his sculptures also convey emotion in their pieces and the folds in their garments are clearly shown. While Leonardo da Vinci is a painter, he is also an outstanding musician, a writer, an engineer, an inventor, and stage designer, and astronomer. So, uh, the famous artwork of Leonardo da Vinci is your Mona Lisa. So, meron pa siyang The Last Supper, Pieta, kanya din yun, David, and he also do the painting of the Sistine Chapel, okay? So, next on that is we do have Michelangelo, who is also both a painter and a sculptor. Ano? So, he became very wealthy because of his profession as an artist. So, he designed the dome of the great new church of St. Peter's Basilica in Rome. Next on him is Raphael. So, Raphael is a student of Michelangelo. So, he learned uh, from Michelangelo. So, the famous artwork of Raphael is yung uh, Madonna, the mother child, okay? So, next on that, so what are the historical events that shape uh, during uh, the arts during the Renaissance period? So, the invention of the Gothenburg uh, printing press or the movable type. So, the Turks who conquers the Constantinople, a uh, Columbus 
who uh, discovered the new world kasi during that time it's already the age of exploration and Martin Luther who starts the reformation ano of uh the churches of the Catholics. So, kaya nga nagkaroon tayo ng mga Protestants. So, we also have the Venetian and the Northern Renaissance. So, the Renaissance spreads north northward to France, the Low Countries, Poland, Germany, and on England. So, chief artists during that time is Bellini, Giorgione, Tetchan, Dorer, Brugel, Bosch, Jan van Eyck, Roger van der Weyden. So, historical events that shaped during that time are the Council of Trent and Counter-Reformation and uh, the discovery of Copernicus that Earth revolves around the sun. So, this is against the Ptolemaic uh, theory, di ba? So, yon nalaman yun. Kasi during the Renaissance period after that is the uh, period of enlightenment and the industrial revolution. So, next on that class, we also have pa yung mga mannerism arts. So, mannerism, uh, mannerism arts are typically painted figures using contorted or twisting poses and for shortening a technique for achieving the illusion of forms projecting into spaces. So, in many mannerist paintings, proportions appeared stretched so that the figures have elongated at uh, torsos, necks, or other features, and the illusion of the space is very unrealistic. So, this is the art that breaks the rules or artifies over nature. So, ang mga kilala dito si Tentoretto, El Greco, Pontormo, Bronzino, and Zelieni. So, historical events na related on mannerist uh, arts or the Magellan, is that Magellan circumnavigates the globe. Next on that, we also have pa yung Baroque art. So, Baroque was a style of art that is used as an exaggeration of motion in clear but easily uh, interpreted detail to produce drama, tension, exuberance, and grandeur from sculpture, painting, literature, and music. So, the, the popularity and the success of your Baroque uh, style of painting was encouraged by the Catholic Church when it decided that drama of the Baroque artist style could communicate the religious themes in direct and emotional involvement. So, this Baroque uh, arts are splendid and very and flourish and offer God. So, uh, during that time, art is considered as a weapon in the religious war. So, ang mga kilala dito si Rio Yuben, si Rembrandt, so, uh, Palace of Versailles shows the Baroque art. And the historical events that shape uh, during that time is the 30 years wars between the Catholic and the Protestant. Ano? So, Baroque palaces are built around the entrance sequence of the courts, uh, ante rooms, grand staircases, and reception rooms in order to for you to see the increasing magnificence of the baroque arts. I know. Okay. Next class, meron pa tayong tinatawag na neoclassical arts. I know. The art that recaptures Greco-Roman grace and grandeur. Okay. So the chief artist during that time is David. And Grace, Grizzy, and Canova. So, this is related on the Enlightenment and the Industrial Revolution. And so, if you are going to take note or to notice, di ba, dito sa pictures, ano, dito sa mga paintings, very colorful na yung mga neoclassical artworks. Next on that, mayroon pa tayong tinatawag na Romanticism Period. So, this is the period where there's a triumph of imagination in individuality. So, Romanticism cannot be identified with a single style, technique, or attitude, but Romantic painting is generally characterized by a highly imaginative and subjective approach, emotional intensity, and a dreamlike or visionary quality. So, example of this work are the works of Francisco de Goya, Eugene de la Cruz, uh, de la Cruz uh, works, and of course, the Spolarium of Juan Luna. Kasi diba, we all know that Spolarium of Juan Luna, it defects what? Depicts the horror of the human carnage. So, carnage 
is equal with the abuse of human rights and liberty. And aside from that, Spolarium is also considered as an elegy of courage. And this is considered as a romantic uh, period, uh, romanticism period artwork. So historical events during that time, American Revolution, the French Revolution, and the, that Napoleon is crowned as the Emperor of France. So next on that, we also have pa yung realism. So realism, the most uh, characteristics of uh, of this uh, artworks is celebrating working class and peasants. So in plain air rustic painting. So realism is a depiction of subject as they appear in everyday life without embellishment of interpretation. So it describes work of art which in revealing truth may emphasize the ugly and the sordid. So karaniwan doon sa mga realist uh, artists or doon sa mga realism artworks ay ano ay pinapakita nito yung widening gap between the rich and the poor. So, what our uh, society has really experiencing. So, pinapakita niya, describe niya, sino yung mga nasa working class and sino yung mga peasants. Ano? So, major artists during that time, Corot, Corbett, Domir, and Millet. Historical evolutions related is the European Democratic Revolutions of 1848. Next, we do have also Impressionism. So, Impressionism was developed in France in the late 19th uh, century. So, including uh, Impressionist painters such as Monet, Manet, Renoir, Pesare, Cassatt, Moresot, and Degas. So, they experimented with the use of color, tone, and texture to create this effect. So, the intent of the Impressionist movement was to record an impression of a scene as bits of color in light. So, kaya sabi daw, uh, capturing pleating effects of natural light ang pinaka-primary characteristic of Impressionism artwork. So, di ba, if you could see class dyan sa ating picture on the PowerPoint presentation, so makikita nyo, ano, kung paano ginamit yung natural effect of lights, ano, in order to give emphasis on the artwork. Aside from that, Impressionism is also characterized by the portrayal of subjects from everyday life. So, especially yung ating mga lives outdoor. So, uh, Monet stresses the importance of painting outdoor scenes. I know. So, isa talaga sa pinakakilalang Impressionist artist ay si Monet. And the topic or the subject that he used on making artworks is uh, the scenes from the outdoors. Next on that, we do have post-impressionism, which is characterized by a soft revolt against impressionism. So, known artists on this are Van Gogh, Gauguin, Zizane, and Surat. So, historical events related, Belle Epogue or the, la the late 19th century Golden Age in Japan has defeats Russia in 1905. Next on that, mayroon pa tayong tinatawag na phobism and expressionism. So, when we say expressionism, this is a moment of art or the tendency that strives to express subjective feelings and emotions rather than to depict reality or nature objectivity. So, the artist on expressionism uh, tries to present an emotional experience in the most compelling form. So, subject is frequently caricatured, exaggerated, distorted, or altered. So, kita nyo naman, ito sa example natin sa ating uh, PowerPoint presentation class, di ba makikita nyo that? Very harsh ang colors and very flat surfaces ang ginagawit. So, yung idea ng phobism. And, the goal is what? In, uh, distorting emotion in the use of films. Very makulay sila, no? Kaya lamang very exaggerated and very altered ang klase ng kanilang artworks. So, Matisse, Kirchner, Kandinsky, and Mark Chagall are the chief artists during that time. Historical events related is the Boxer Rebellion in 1900 in China and the World War in 1914 to 1918. 
Next in that, mayroon pa tayo class na tinatawag na Cubism, Futurism, and Supramativism. So, these are kinds of art that is about the pre and the post World War I art experiment. So, these are new forms of art that expresses our modern life. So, known for this are Picasso, Brock, Ledger, Buccioni, Severini, and Malevich. So, historical events related are the Russian Revolution in the American Women franchise in 19 So, if you could see a very futuristic, ano, ang kind of artworks na mga nandito. And, we can also say that those artworks during the Cubism, Futurism, and Supremativism period are what? Are contorted also and very altered. Okay. Next on that, we also have pa yung tinatawag na Dada Yesim and Surya Yesim. Lesim. So, when we say surrealism, this is an artistic and literary moment that explored and celebrated the realm of dreams and unconscious mind through the creation of visual art, poetry, and motion pictures. So, the, the example of artwork of surrealism is here. Itong nasa baba natin na artwork here made by Salvador Dali. So, this is entitled Persistence of Memory. So, if you are going to notice yung mga Uh, surrealist uh, painting, sila ay yung mga nag-exist on our unconscious mind. Sometimes part ito ng ating mga dreams ano, which are turns into artworks. So, Dadaism naman is a movement that rejects what? The prevailing standards of art. So, it's a way to express the confusion that was felt by many people as their world was turned upside down. So, Dadaism are the ridiculous art. Ano, And uh, aside from that, so ito yung ano, it rejects the prevailing uh, standards of our art. So ang isang example nito ay yung ginawa ni Jo Chum na Loki, spelled as L H O uh, O Q. So wherein si Mona Lisa is what? Nilagyan niya ng goatee and mustache ano on the painting. So yun yung isang example ng Dada Yes, Next on that, we also have abstract expressionism. So, this, uh, the artwork is uh, from post-World War II, pure abstraction and expression without form, popular and absorbed consumerism. So, ito namang abstract expressionism, ang mga pinapakita naman sa artworks na ito ay yung mga bagong values that the modern society has adopted ano, from the American. So, yung pagkakaroon natin ng mga popular art and aside from that, yung value of consumerism. So, historical events that related during that time is yung Cold War and the Vietnam War. And USSR suppresses Hungarian Revolt and Czechoslovakian Revolt. Next class, Our, and the last one is yung postmodernism and deconstructivism on the 1970. So, the art during that time has no center in reworking and mixing past styles. Ano? So, kita nyo naman dito sa picture, ano? wala siyang pinaka-focus or emphasis. And as, as you can see, ba? Diba? There is a mixing ano of the past and uh, styles of artists and of the modern uh, artists for today. So known artists during that time Gerhard Richter, Cindy Sherman, Anselm Keffer, Franz Jerry and Saha Hadid. So historical events are the nuclear freeze movement, the Cold War fizzles and that communism collapse in Eastern Europe and USSR. So, those are the different periods of uh, history of art. So, if you could notice class, so there are a variety or difference ano, on the different artworks and architectures. Depende sa kung anong uh, history or period siya nabuo sa kasaysayan. So, that is our lesson for today. Thank you for listening for this video tutorial. I hope that you learned something about the uh, history of arts. Okay, thank you and God bless.